Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Working Horses with Jim. This morning, we got some late season snow and some Amish neighbors th stopped by to get a load of hay. And look what they're up to. Two of the brothers are up front and all three of them loaded hay, but one is behind skiing. He seems to do really well. Jim and I had different plans for today than what we're doing now. We were going to go to Vermont and see our grandchildren today, but they are supposed to be getting like 18 inches of snow today. So we decided to change our minds on that and wait for another day, which is a real bummer. I've been looking forward to seeing them, but we'll, we'll find a time soon again. Anyways, Jim has some chores he wants to do out here in the barn, uh, working a lot of different horses, so we wanna take you along today and share with you what's going on here in our world today. So Jim has Ken and Earl to start with this morning. So I didn't mention to you guys that we're only supposed to get a couple inches. Hopefully that is true. But old man winter has returned here in the North Country.
I have a question. Why did you turn that apron on for a minute? Was that the apron? Yeah. Um, so with ground driven manure sprayers, when it freezes, you get cold weather. The apron, the the chain that drags the manure backwards, will freeze to the floor. So you need to make sure it's thawed out before you actually put a load of manure on it. After you put a manure, load of manure on it, and you head to the fields. If it's frozen to the floor, it will not work and the tires will just drag. And so you got to unload <coughs> the whole load to fix that problem. So I generally I'll always make sure it is not frozen before I head out. Oh, I get the scoop here. Oh no. So you got to move everybody out again. So that was dumb. I, I pulled in here and I forgot my skid steer is still parked here. I gotta get the skid steer out of here before I can park the horses here. Take them under the, another loop de duped. As you can see, we still have our Springtooth Hero here because we used it, what, two weeks ago now because it was fit to use it and now we haven't had any weather since. It's kind of right my way, so I have to park my spread a little bit differently than I normally do. But as I'm turning these tight corners with this manure spread, I gotta be very careful because if I turn it too sharp, it will actually jackknife. The tire will hit right on the frame of the manure spread and will flip this cart right over. So something you really have to be careful with when you're dealing with horses and tires and axles like this, where this is set up. Have you ever done that? Yes, I have. So now we don't have to tie Ken, but I gotta tie Earl. So I'll tie him, I'll get the skits out of the barn, get the pen ready to be cleaned. And uh, yeah, we'll do that. Oops. Skip finally gets to do what he loves to do, chase the cows. Do it, Skip. All right, all right. He's so proud. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's frozen. You go grab an iron bar. It's a beautiful collage of manure on there. Need some twine. I'll get you some. So all I'm doing here today is kind of the purpose of this is to clean our water tub out. At the further end of that pan there's hardly any manure and it's kind of frozen. But this end here has a lot of hay. Oops. So this end here has a lot of hay in it that the cows are brought through. So, you, and so I need to get this out of here so we can dump that water tub out, clean that out, and so we can put fresh water in there. So I figured, but you know, better too much than not enough. Well, there was a lot more hay 
or something in here than I realized. As it turned out, it was a lot of oat straw. Well, actually, it was from my oat baleage. They, the cows apparently didn't eat it that well, and I re kind of recall um, taking a bunch of it that they weren't eating. It was almost the straw and uh, throwing it into the pen. So that's what I'm dealing with, a lot of, of the oat straw type of stuff that just um, they didn't eat. And so we have it in the manure and there's way too much of it. So if I don't break it up like this, I will have terrible troubles when I try to spread it. Did you guys hear that? So what happened is the manure plugged up my beaters and locked it right up so the tires were sliding. That's why it was quiet there for a moment. Then all of a sudden I adjusted the levers a little bit and I got it working again. Right now it's dragging. You can see the wheel isn't going around. Oh. Clog up.
Bit of a minute. If you get into trouble, drop the GoPro and hold the horses. Right. I wasn't ready to take it in the first place. Good old fashioned manual labor. So we did get through there for that first load. Um, I'm gonna take more time and break it up a lot better with the skid steer before I go out with another load. Um, this is what happens sometimes, especially when you've got fresh snow on the ground, it slides easier. Now, um, this time of year, we have to be so uh, conscientious of, of the weather to work around the weather and do the things that need to be done at the right time. Um, a lot of times we have pens to clean and manure to spread, but it's too muddy, it's too wet out there. So we've had some cold weather and now the snow, I wanna take advantage of it. And that's why I'm trying to do this job right now. And and we're gonna get it. I just gotta shake it up a bit more with the with the forks and I'll put the bucket back on to put it onto the onto the spreader. Um, yesterday, there was a reason why I was gonna say this, can't remember now, but yesterday I took uh, uh, Ken and Bill to the woods and I was quite pleased at how well they did. Um, Bill, Ken hadn't been there for over a year to the you know login and he did great. But anyway, so that's just another subject. I thought it had something to do with what I was doing, but I guess it doesn't, but that's just the way my mind works sometimes. Ken's been working a lot this he, winter. He has, but not actually logging. Oh, I know what I was gonna think about. So I was thinking this morning that I would actually go out back and cut some firewood and take uh, uh, Ken and um, Earl out there and actually start skidding a little firewood with Earl for the first time. And that would have been great and fun, but uh, the pen needed to be cleaned out too. And like I said, the timing of it all, we decided, I decided I better get this done now. Well, it is after lunch and uh, Jim has hooked up Baron and Duke and they've spread a load of manure and here they are on their way back. Boy, I think they make a nice, nice match team. Aaron 
doesn't look too worse for wear after his little procedure a few days ago. Skip, you're gonna move some cows? Let's go. And so we cleaned out the water tub, turned it over, cleaned it out. Skip's finding his way into the pen. I think he's eating some kind of delicious poop sickles or something. Go help Dad! A nice layer of sawdust in here. Yeah. There you go. All right, go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Let's go load up the spreader for another load. We got four loads out this morning. My second load. My wife's laying in the, in the hay. <laughs> Whoops. With Skippy helping, I'm sure. I just tripped. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this morning I got four loads out and I actually had almost had troubles in the second load also, but we, we made it through. And the last two loads were kind of small because I didn't want to take the chance. And Troubles with? With the plugging up. Yeah. So anyhow, we're done here. Yep, well. nervous about that yeah I'm kind of surprised um, he's so used to this good steer but um, he's only spread just a, a ton of three or four loads of manure and it's this is the first time I've ever done it this way so this is the first time I'm actually loading on his side so yeah it does freak him out but that's okay 
Is it his first time uh, with Baron spreading manure? No, I don't think so. What we're doing is going through, going to go through the cornfield that's been plowed. It's a little rough, but uh, that's okay. Get unplugged. Ha, uh, catch up. Ha, 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 ha. I So I'm here at our corn crib and I thought I'd bring you along to show you how things are going out here. I get um, corn for the pigs and the horses and my job is to separate it so the horses get the good stuff and the pigs get pretty much what's left over. So I just thought I'd take you along on this little chore that I usually do. Looks like there have been some little friends in here and it's always a mess after a snowstorm but it's amazing how well the corn does if 
it's good like this cob and there's no mold on it, it's just a little frozen, it goes to the horses. It's questionable and um, and and it looks like there might be a little mold it goes to the pigs So there you have it. We got the we got the buckets full, and um, Skip's here to help, and we'll take it back to the animals. Sure, I'm glad we've had the corn this winter to feed to the pigs and the horses. I think it's made a big difference. And it's something, there's something very nice about feeding crops that you have grown yourself, you know, where they come from. And um, it's just a good feeling. It's nice to know that that's what our pigs are mostly eating and it's stuff we've grown right here on the farm. So I'm looking forward to another year of crop growing and it makes it all worth it, all the things we have to do to make it happen. Thanks for coming along today. Have a great day.